Hello there, outliers. This is Niyama Shang, and this is the Outlier to Trailblazer podcast, where we really focus on the journey, that the inner journey that goes along with being someone who creates differently in the world and has success that is beyond the norm. Today, I am, there's something right now that's really playing on me, and it feels, it feels like a great way to just introduce this conversation. And that's the element of vision and being understood. So one of the things that I find to be really common around being an outlier is being in a place where the things that you say, the vision that you have, or the things that you're trying to articulate aren't necessarily understood by those that are around you. And try as you might when you bring in more clarity or you bring in more distinctions, uh, people may not necessarily be on the same page. I personally know this one quite a bit. And when I talk to people, the, the misunderstanding comes in different ways. I think it's one of the one of the bigger challenges of being an outlier, right? To see something that other people haven't seen, or to have been in so many different environments that your creative your creative mind works differently, or the examples that you have to draw from are so different. And a lot of us out there are really creating change in the world, social change, helping to ch- uh, change people's consciousness or the way that that they're looking at things, and to be able to be understood is a part of that that process i have i'm a part of a group where i am i'm constantly reminded of some of the levels where i'm not able to communicate what it what is really on my mind what some of the levels in the level of depth but also in the level of just pure clarity for others and it's something that has been honestly to tell the truth when I, when it first happened, I used to take it very personally in the sense of, Oh, if you don't understand, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then you don't understand me as an individual. I was lucky enough to be in a group of really powerful people. And someone came up to me afterwards and said, I, I, I see you here. And let me, let me make sure that I'm not skipping over something important here. When I felt the fact that they weren't understanding me as an individual, that led to frustration, that led to anger, that led to also a sense of hopelessness, a sense of if not, if you, my tribe, aren't able to understand me, then who out there would? And someone came and she asked me, she's like, I've noticed this here. And she just she just remained in conversation with me as I was navigating the feelings of frustration. She said something that stuck with me. She said, what if when you hear that you're not being understood, it isn't about you as a, as a person, but instead it's about the language that you're choosing to use. Perhaps, perhaps we just don't understand what it is that you're trying to say. How would you approach it differently? What could you ask us to help us get to a level of clarity that, that will move with that? A level of clarity that will help us be able to understand where you're coming from. And it's in that space there, just that space of being able to remove the reflection from being a personal thing to being one that, because I mean, quite frankly, my mission, my purpose, what I am and what I do in the world is so deeply tied to me. And to not understand that means you don't understand me. Or does it? And so I bring this into today's conversation as we go out and we're sharing our visions and we're looking to, to participate and collaborate and collab in creative ways and to really just voice the frustration that might come with not being understood. And especially as a visionary leader, this might be something that, that comes along. And to give you, give us a little bit of a space, a bit of a distinction to be able to really approach it from a place of how can I help clarify my message versus how does it have to be as an internal reflection? We're just getting started. Click on the link below to watch the full conversation and go to niyamashan.com slash tribe to get additional resources and exclusive invitation to tribe only events. Journey on. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below.
If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.